Thank you very much, Courtney. Today on Remote, we're answering the question, how does a busy parent take the kids to the park and still get their workout in? Well, Drew is actually at a local park getting his workout in as he's got some personal trainers there to help him get his fitness on. Okay. Come on, guys, strong finish, come on, let's go. Let's do this. Good morning, Drew. Good morning, how's the workout going, buddy? So far, pretty good. We just uh, been running for the last, last time I saw you was about 6.08. What time is it now? Uh, 6.37, so 29 okay. minutes of running. That's All pretty right, good. Good, good, good. So, well, you know what? It, it, it should be a, a good enough workout because we're trying to use the space around us, use the park. We've got such a beautiful setting here at the Fork, so we want to get warmed up before we go into our actual warm-up, if that makes sense. Sure, it makes sense. Uh, do you really think people believe that you ran all the way for 29 minutes or, or just off camera, on camera? Didn't, didn't you see the whole group running as a pack? Everyone is smiling and warmed up. I mean, just because we're not sweating, it's because everyone's in really good shape, because we know a little bit of techniques about how to exercise on a playground. No, oh, that, that's it. Okay, uh, right. We, we, uh, we're buying that voice, right? We're buying it? Yeah, we're, okay, we're buying it now. We'll believe it. Good, and if you want to be as fit as us and be as full of energy after uh, such a long run, we've got some ideas for you. I want to introduce uh, Wendy Novotny. You are uh, one of the, the, the coaches at uh, Undefeated CrossFit, Correct. and today you're leading us through a workout that we can do in the playground, That's because right. this is something that you've been doing for a very long time with Absolutely. your two kids. And like I said before to you, yeah, just before we were on camera, I actually spent probably most of the my time in the summertime getting fit right at the park. I would take my stroller, I would go with my stroller with my kids, all the way to the park that would be sort of my warm-up type thing I'd do my workout and then I'd head home have a coffee and it was a great way to enjoy the Sun the kids got out and I got fit so all right and we want to make sure that we're limbered up and ready to go yep, for our workout exactly. so, so for, first our, thing, for a warm-up you're gonna lead us through spider-man stretches yes so the first thing that we did as you guys as you guys talked about already is we just sprinted 800 meters and um, so we're back we're a little bit warm we're juicy we're a little bit sweaty first key to a good warm-up is to get juicy okay um, so we're nice and sweaty so now now we're gonna go into some Spider-Man lunges. So Spider-Man lunges essentially open up the hips. Most people are tight in the hips and that's going to be something that you want to make sure that you limber up a little bit in terms, thanks Sylvie, that's perfect, in order to be able to do some squats, some walking lunges and things like that. Okay. So that's the, the Spider-Man lunge is basically an aggressive lunge forward. We've got, Sylvie here's got both of her hands on the inside. Kristen's a little bit more limber and Dan's even quite limber there. So that's going to be an example. Then wow. they would step their leg through and then come through onto the other side. Perfect. So we're really getting, so we can really get low inside of that stance if we're looking to really open it up. Um, or if we're maybe feeling a little bit stiff, we can ease our way into that really low position. Absolutely. And like what we can see here too is like Sylvie's got her knee on top of the heel. That's perfect. Kristen's as low as she can. She's going to be opening up those hips a lot. So I would say probably about four to eight maybe Spider-Man lunges per leg. Okay. So yep. Spider-Man lunges, add that to your list. What else can we the do to get ourselves stretched find, out? The um, next most of the time that people are a little bit tight is in the calves. People are kind of wearing a little bit of heel things like that or they're just generally tight so we're gonna move on to a calf stretch now there's two kind of components to the calf so over here we've got Kristen and she's got a straight knee so right now we're getting into the gastroc which is the big juicy part of the calf that you can see on the outside so that's where you want to feel uh, that, that, that this, tension this or that stretch, stretch happening okay that's right so the ball of the foot's up on that up on that bam, bench or that wall whatever you've got near you okay that's perfect now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bend the knee and we're gonna push it in now we're gonna get into the soleus this is a little bit deeper and actually it um, attaches to the Achilles tendon so you might actually feel that kind of around the ankle you can definitely feel this the ankle, yeah. yeah, for sure. So that's going to be key to be able to do some walking lunges again, some squats and things like that. So that's the other thing. And then the next big thing that I actually find to be most tight in people is their pec minors. So we're just, we're crouched over, we're texting, right? We're always on the computer, yeah. things like that. Our back is typically overstretched. Our chest is tight. So we're going to find a wall somewhere and we're going to stretch out our pec minors. So we've got Kristen over here. We've got some people in the back while the kids play on the train. <laughs> Um, so now Dan's over there and we've got him with the arms straight back. So what we're going to do is we'll see that his pec minors essentially over here are getting a nice big stretch. So he's opening up that chest. Now he can play around with where that hand is. If it's higher, he might feel oh. it a little bit in different places. Yeah, yeah, big time. You can feel it through your armpit essentially. Oh, good stuff. And that's really, really key just for good posture. So you try and keep that back nice and straight and things like that. That's going to be a key stretch. Love it. Wendy, thank you so much. Yep. We've, we've got our warm up covered. Some great things to try out the next time you're at the park because all of these things that we mentioned, you can do with the gear at your local park while still keeping an eye on the kids. Coming up, it's going to be workout time. We'll show you how to get in a good workout inside of the playground. Yeah.
Spider-Man, Spider-Man Does whatever a spider can Spins a web of any size Catches thieves just like flies Look out! Here comes a Spider-Man 